Yeah, no, I will. I will. Word to describe your driving too. I didn't go over the limit. No, you just rode the clutch, didn't check your blind spots, took the corners too fast. Excuse me, what is the point of having a young dad if you're gonna act like a cherry on the road? Oh, what is that? Are you giving me cheek? You think you could do better? Hey, move over, kiddo. I'll take this car out to the back streets and I'll show you what it can really do. Listen to you. You try hard. <laughs> so, where are these back roads? Who is she? She's just a local I know. The ex? Not into you, hey? You really do operate on a basis of think it, say it, don't you? What other way is there? How lovely to see you supporting each other through thick and thin as usual. Yeah, we're just going to sit down here. Go oh, anywhere you like, pet. Um, I do hope that you realise that as one of the Stewart family, I'm here for you too, Constable Holden. <laughs> or uh, perhaps I should call you Jack since you've practically been an in-law. I think he's got enough support from his own family. But thank you for the support. Oh, any time. We Stuarts are known for rallying around our own. It's in the genes. Mm -hmm. Can we just get some coffees, please? Oh, yes, of course, yes. Leave it to me. I know how you both like. I'm so sorry, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Maybe she's right about there being something in the genes. You both made me smile on a day I thought it was impossible. This probably isn't the greatest timing, but there's something else in my mind. Something I'd like to bounce off you. Well, I'm listening. It's hard to find the words, but I know once I say it, it's out there. I'm thinking of quitting the force. Makes me feel even more depressed if what I've done is my best. No, I, di I didn't mean it like that, okay? We all know that George Watson is the bad cop here. He was only ever in it for himself. Jack, he's nothing like you. Yeah, but if I was clean, I would have busted him the moment I realised he was dodgy. And none of the rest of it would have happened. I don't know, I suppose part of me can't bear you doing this because I know you got stuck in this whole mess trying to protect me. I feel responsible. No, 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 don't. Please. Look. You didn't ask me to do any of it. It was all my own choice. Sounds like you've already made your mind up. Yeah. You know, I, I guess I have. That's only been since we're talking. It's funny that the more you stand up for me, the more I realise that I don't deserve the uniform. Well, good. Nice to see that my opinion makes such a difference. You always make a difference. You said before that there were two things in your life that'll never be the same again. What's the second one? You. Martha, you, you and I, we're, we're never going to be the same again. We need to work out what that means. I don't know what you're trying to say. 
Yeah, look. I really shouldn't have blurted that out then. I've got to get to the yeah, station. Yeah, you can't say something like that, then tell me you have to go. Oh, yeah, I, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Why don't you come around to my place tonight, about seven? We can talk about it then. You want to talk about us? Yeah. Nice to see you're not overdoing it. Is that your way of telling me I'm being lazy? No. No, after a stint in hospital, you should take it easy. Um, it's your first day back at school tomorrow, so you have to eat well and conserve your energy. I don't need a mother, but thanks. <laughs> oh, there's no problem on that score. Not a maternal bone in my body, I'm told. However, I did promise your father several things, this being one, house rules. Oh, great. Non-negotiable. You abide by those, and I'll have no call to play the parent role. Entirely up to you. Smoothly. That's only because you're used to the car. So that's where I get my competitive streak. <laughs> so what do you reckon? It's a nice spot, huh? This is where they're going to hold the Anzac Day service. Yeah, it's nice. It'd be great to have you here for that. And just in general. Uh, you might be sorry you said that. Well, I'm still trying to get my head around it. It's a bit of a shock. A good one, though. Well, you said I should visit. Yes, but I thought you'd call me first. I liked that you came and took the time to come and meet me. You took guts. To be honest, I didn't think I'd see you much more after that. Why? I don't know. It's a lot to expect. I wasn't really there for raising you, and I didn't contact you before then. I liked you. Straight away. Well, it means a lot to me that you're here. But I've got to ask, why now? No special reason. But you didn't just jump in your car and decide to come and visit me today. What prompted you? Actually, I've been thinking about doing it ever since you turned up. Just, uh, thought it might be easier at the start of term, that's all. So you're really serious about enrolling? There wasn't just a... Just meant to freak you out. <laughs> it's a big move. I'm surprised you're still interested now that you know it's a small town. Oh, I can handle it. I actually think I'm going to like it around here. Great. Well, that makes me very happy. <laughs> 